Welcome to Enhancing Security with Two-Factor Authentication. The Salesforce platform always performs what's known as risk-based authentication. When users log in, we analyze those logins, look at their network location, and whether or not we've seen their browser before. One-time passwords are sent via email or text message when we do not recognize the user's network or browser. You can review or adjust this information by browsing to Setup, Security Controls, Activations. There you can see users' activated networks and their activated browsers. You can even delete them or remove them from the system. In addition, you can provide input into a risk-based authentication by setting up trusted networks via Setup, Security Controls, Network Access, or via profile-based IP restrictions. Two-factor authentication builds on top of risk-based authentication and introduces a few key capabilities. The first are applications for mobile devices that are allowed to generate those OTPs. No longer is there a dependency on email or SMS, you can generate one-time passwords directly from an app on your phone. Policies may be set to force two-factor authentication on login. Session-level policies also allow you to block specific actions or step up authentication. The easiest way to understand two-factor authentication is to see it in action. Let's take a look. Let's start by logging into the Salesforce platform. Risk-based authentication has determined that it does not recognize my network or my browser and is asking me to confirm my identity. I can have a text message sent to my phone. Here you can see I've received a text message with my verification code. If I take 23295 and type it in, I can verify the code and I'll be logged into the Salesforce platform. Now, this was an example of risk-based authentication in action. Now let's take a look at how we can use policies to enforce two-factor authentication every time you log in. First, we access Setup. Once in Setup, we're going to expand Manage Users and click on Permission Sets. Now we're going to create a new permission set to enforce two-factor authentication. We click New and give it a name. We assign a license, in this case Salesforce, and save it. Here we'll use Quick Find and select two-factor authentication for user interface logins. We can then edit this permission set. And require that users enter a time-based token during login. Now we save our permission set. Finally, we need to assign this permission set to our user. So I'm going to go to My Settings. Expand Personal, Advanced User Details, and edit the user's permission set assignments. I'm going to add the two-factor authentication required permission set we just created, and save. Now let's log out and log in again and see how our behavior has changed. The next time our user logs in, you see we're prompted to register a new two-factor token. In this case, we've downloaded the Salesforce Authenticator app, which produces standard time-based one-time passwords. As we start the application, you'll see we're provided with some basic instructions, and we are prompted to add our new key. In this case, we're going to scan the QR code that's presented on our screen. Having scanned our QR code, you can now see that Salesforce Authenticator is generating one-time passwords. We can take this new value, 083563, input it into the web, and click Verify and log in. Behind the scenes, we verified that the token was correct, and now Salesforce Authenticator has been successfully attached to your user within Salesforce, and you can use it to generate time-based tokens in the future. The next time our user logs in, based upon their permission set, they're prompted for a second factor of authentication. If we pull up Authenticator, you'll see it's generating time-based tokens. We can take the latest token, 256105, verify, and log in. Salesforce Identity doesn't require that you enforce two-factor only on login. It can also do this dynamically based upon your session level. Let's take a look. If we navigate to Session Settings, you'll see we have a new control called session levels. There are two session levels within Salesforce, standard assurance sessions and high assurance sessions. Using session levels, we can set fine-grained policies on application access or access to reports and dashboards. For instance, you could require that a high assurance session is used to access reports. Setting your session level is easy. 
you can either specify the level that a particular authentication mechanism generates, for instance, user ID and password, or two-factor authentication, or you can dynamically assert the session level. Finally, you can step up authentication based upon policies. So let's take a look. We're going to leave our session level as is. I'm going to hit cancel. Now we're going to find the report access policies. Click on access policies. and I'm going to hit this checkbox which says a high assurance session is required. I'm then going to raise the session level with step up authentication. Now this will cause the user who has a standard assurance session to be prompted for a second factor of authentication. Users that already have a high assurance session will not be prompted for a second factor. Let's save this policy and log out. If I log in with the user and receive a standard assurance session, notice what happens if I attempt to access reports based upon our new policy. Clicking on reports, I'm prompted to enter a second factor of authentication. Since my users previously set up Salesforce Authenticator, they can generate new time-based tokens. Here I'll grab 391450, verify, and now you can see I can access reports and dashboards. In the future, if this user ever wants to change their authenticator, they can simply browse to their settings, access advanced user details, and remove their time-based token. They then have the option to add a new time-based token. They'll be prompted to log in again to verify their identity, and we'll take them back to the registration flow. And that's how simple it is to use two-factor authentication to enhance your security around logins or access to critical assets like applications or reports and dashboards.